welcome everyone. <laughs> I would like to call this committee of the whole meeting on Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024 at 4 o'clock p.m. to order. Lindsay, may we have roll call, please? Panache? Present. Radke? Here. Name it? Here. Millette? Here. Here? Here. Begick? Here. Quorum present. Thank you. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, the to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there any changes to the agenda? See none, I need a motion to approve the agenda. I'll move it. Support? Any, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, see none, motion carries. I need a motion for the minutes of 6-4. So, support. Is there any corrections? You know, um, yes. No, I was just saying, I supported it. Okay. She was looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed, seeing none, minutes are being approved. At this time, it's for public input. Is there anyone want, wishing to address this committee? Please come forward. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Jerry Crete. I pretty much know everybody here. Um, I just wanted to uh, let you know that uh, I have applied to replace Dennis Poyer as the seventh district um, commissioner. Um, I know that you're gonna be making the appointment in a couple weeks and um, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, many of you know me or have known me for a long time. Um, I was the former owner of Ideal Party Store. I ran that business for 43 years. Um, have been involved in the community in um, many um, areas for several years. I am past president of the um, Dow Bay Area Family Y. I was on the building committee when we built that. I'm currently on the Bay Area Act Behavioral Health Board. Um, been involved in my uh, parish, St. Jude's Parish, uh, for many years. Um, been involved with uh, um, basically Lions Club, um, past member of the Rotary Club, um, just many things in the community. Um, I've, I've been born and raised here in, in Bay County, uh, spent my whole life here, very familiar with the county and um, many of the things going on here. And um, I think I would be uh, an excellent replacement for uh, Dennis Poyer, who is a, a very good friend of mine. Um, God rest his soul. So. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm, I'm applying for that position and uh, hope you'll give me um, a fair consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to? Um, there we go. Good afternoon, Board of Commissioners, um, Mr. Executive. Department heads, my name is Jamie Johnson. Uh, I reside at 1596 St. Mary's Court in Hampton Township. Uh, I'm just coming to speak with you after my ex-neighbor of 15 years because I too applied to fill uh, the vacancy left behind by, um, by Mr. Poyer's departure. Uh, before I get any farther than that, I just wanna make sure I extend my condolences to all of you that worked with him. Um, having spent some time in conversation with him before he transitioned over into the role that I had held from 21 to 22, you can't walk away with com from conversations with him not knowing that he was a good person who had all intentions of doing a fantastic job. And he did that, which is part and parcel about why I'm here. I wanna make sure that that continues to happen in District 7, that they have representation, that it's at a level of excellence that he provided and that was provided previous to him. Now, um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I am an educator, much like Mr. Poyer, lifelong. I spent 29 years in uh, K through five classrooms. I currently am a, a literacy and interventionist, uh, K-5 at McGregor Elementary School, where I had seen uh, Commissioner Banajak a few times. Um, I held this position from 21 to 22 in District 7. As, a, uh, as an educator, one of the things I've always been uh, key to is that uh, you keep growing as long as you keep learning. And uh, one of those things to learning, of course, is reading and being a literacy interventionist. I try and uh, model reading for my students a lot. Um, and so I'm constantly at the library trying to pick out new books. One of my favorites currently is The Bill of Obligations, The Ten Habits of Good Citizens by Richard Haas. In that one, uh, habit number two is to get involved. 
Uh, and that's what I'm here to do in order to maintain that level of excellence that Mr. Poirier provided to our district. I think it's important that we fill his spot um, so that the people in Merritt and Hampton and Essexville can and have that representation that they deserve. Um, why I think I might be a good fit, I recently held the position. I have a working relationship with the majority of the board, the executive, the department heads. I have an idea of some of the things that are going on in the community because I had a hand in getting some of those started. And I do know that if you've got a compressed time frame to be able to put someone in this place, it would be a good idea if that someone has an idea of what's going on and who they're dealing with, both at this level and also at the local levels. And I know who all of those people are. I know when all their schedules are. I know how to contact all of them and get with them. So I will tell you, knowing how much you need to know to be able to do this job effectively, is that I was way better at it when I left than when I started. Um, and I learned an awful lot from the people in this room that I had a chance to serve with. I know you cannot walk away from any conversations with Ms. Radke without feeling the, the absolute positivity that she brings to everything and the empathy that she has and the way that she listens to people. The relentless energy of Mr. Herrick is unmatched. You can't keep up with him. I tried to emulate running around on my campaign the way he did and you just can't keep up. He's amazing. And then of course, Mr. Begick, I know that working with him, I've sent him texts before because I was impressed with his level of representation that he brought to his district. I absolutely love the way he brought back things from his meetings to be able to share here and make announcements, and I tried to emulate that myself. So I grew a lot just from spending time with them, and of course all of you. The department heads are hardworking people, and Executive Barsha, uh, always has his pulse on it's amazing. He knows what's going on in the county, the state, and the federal level, and he can tell you just like that. Uh, it was astounding to me. But I think the, the one thing I took away most from our conversations was his willingness to be positive and to acknowledge the people that did a good job publicly. That's a big deal. Uh, being able to do that is important. So again, I appreciated my time spent with you, and I appreciate the fact that we need to have someone at our district that can get up to speed as quickly as possible. Habit number three is compromise. Compromise has become a dirty word in a lot of places and it shouldn't be. Anything worth doing has to be compromised on. Anything that's gonna last has to be compromised on. If there is no compromise, then there will always be one aggrieved party who is angry because things did not go their way. Thank you, ma'am. So I will tell you, I hope that we can compromise and come to someone to fill this spot in our district because District 7 deserves that representation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to address this committee? My name is Mike Rowley and I live in the 7th District and like these two gentlemen I have offered my services to help you fill a seat and I'm glad you're going to do that and not spend a lot of money running a special election. Ditto on the comments regarding Dennis, he was obviously a passionate person for life and for politics and there's no words that I can say here that uh, could convey my, my feelings for that. I didn't know other people have offered. I'm pleased to see they are. If they're better qualified, please pick them. Um, I thank you for your service. No matter who you vote for, I won't say a negative word. I believe in uh, democracy rules. Some of you may have the application that I put in online already. If not, you will have it, so I won't repeat that for verbatim. You will see DDA experience. Delta College trustee experience for 12 years, 10 years with Essex Hampton School Board, and uh, there's things that go beyond that uh, back in the decade before with Barrier Women's Center and volunteering at the World Friendship Shell and uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. I wanted to let you know why I was offering one. Uh, it would be an honor to be picked. I care about the quality of life in Bay County. If picked, I hope you'd list me as an independent. I've enjoyed that the last 22 years. If you have to list a party, I will tell you, I was part of a group in the mid 1990s that tried to make the Republican Party a, a lot more moderate party. I volunteered uh, or offered my services in 96 and 98 and ran for county commission at that time. So I'm 
maybe one of the few people who's read the budget binder book, studied the fairgrounds, studied uh, uh, other divisions of this. I remember uh, Mr. Barsh's predecessor saying to me, Mike, you don't realize this is big business. And I was thinking to myself, well, as a family that's been in this county for 140 years, I do understand it. We have three businesses. And uh, I was wondering why uh, it, there used to be 27 commissioners and like 47 boards for something that we do with the board of directors of three people. But thank you for your service. I'm glad you've gone from, from nine down to seven. Uh, I'm familiar with FOIA, I'm familiar with the Open Meetings Act, I've read both of those, I've read Robert's Rules of Orders, Robert's Rule of Order, and uh, I would be honored if you'd pick me, if you pick somebody else, that is fine too. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Mike. Is there anyone else that would like to address this committee? Go on once going twice. Public input is closed. Petitions and communications. Region 7, Area Agency, Agency of Aging, Annual Implementation Plan, AIP for, a 20, for year 2025. So, is there any discussion? Yes, Vaughn. I want to point out, I think Mr. Brown was coming in to speak on Region 7 next month or September, I'm not sure. Okay. Don't know yet. Cancel. We're waiting. Cancel. Yep. Cancel. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? See none. Motion carries. Michigan Department of Health and Human Services Agreement Number DFA 25-09003 Home Aid Position. So moved. Support. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none. Motion carries. The Bay County Sheriff, M. Cole's CPE Pilot Program Grant. So moved. So far. Is there any discussion? I see we have somebody here from the... Mm -hmm. Yes. To hear about the program a little bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Lataki with the Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff wanted me to uh, say he was sorry he couldn't make it. He had other obligations today. So this is, a, this is a new... A I didn't know if you wanted to ask me a question or if you just wanted me to no, tell yeah. you what it was. Yeah, just if you want to outline the program, go ahead. Uh, the CPE is continuing professional education. Uh, it's now mandated by MCOLS for all MCOLS licensed police officers, 45 at the Sheriff's Office, to maintain their licensing for the year. So it's not new. What's that, it's sir? Not, it's not a new one? No. This is a new program new started program. this okay. year. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none. Motion carries. Mm -hmm. The health officer. CPBC agreement for the year 2024-2025. So moved. Bart. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none. Motion carries. Memorandum of Understanding MOU for the Midland County Health Department for Reciprocal Medical Director Coverage. So moved. Support. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. The Tricor Laboratory Services Agreement. So moved. Support. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. The Retirement Administrator, Purchase Military Service Time, Vaughn Begick, Bay County Commissioner. So moved. Support. And is there any discussion? <laughs> I will abstain from voting. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. The Finance Officer, the analysis of the General Fund Equity of 2024. So moved. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. The update regarding Executive Directive 2007-11. Move here, Steve. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. The purchasing bid award for forensic pathologists. So moved. Support. Is there any discussion? 
Yes, fine. I believe we will have one applicant. Yes, Joe's here. You're fine. Joe. Joe's here. Joe. Yeah, he's here. I'm sorry, I missed the yeah. question. Just one applicant for the... Yes, there was. <laughs> and he's been, uh, Dr. Cho has been the forensic pathologist here for, I believe, the last four to five years. So uh, very respected, and um, uh, there wasn't any increase in the in the rates that he's provided us. And he does, his fees are the same? Absolutely, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. The bid award for ISD Managed Detection and Response Service to People Driven Technology. So moved. Support. Is there any discussion? Julie, Julie here. Yeah. Okay. Just want to know what it is. A little explanation. Sure. Um, Sorry, I'm a little short here. Um, it's software that will run um, that will essentially detect when there's something wrong in the system. So whether it be malware, ransomware, um, it offers, the solution offers 24 by 7 monitoring. And then a piece along with that is manage risk that will um, detect and display our vulnerabilities for us to improve our systems. As I was coming in, I got an email about a package I have. A, I'm supposed to give them my name and my address and my social security number and come pick it up. I haven't ordered anything lately. Yeah, I, I would not respond to that. <laughs> I erased that one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. Thank you, Julie. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. <clears throat> Information Systems, Bay Metro Agreement. So moved. Is there any discussion on this one? Nope. Do you want, you want Julie to come up or Bay Metro? Uh, sure. <laughs> I should have just stayed here, sorry. ISD. So every year we renew our agreement. Um, last year we changed the terms to instead of billing them 6000 we bill them $2,000 a year, and then we bill them for all of the work that we complete with them, along with so if they have software, hardware that they purchase through us, um, such as our Dell contract and things like that, we bill them directly. Um, so I think it's been working out really well with the, with the change of um, services that we've done. I feel we have a more accurate billing amount of hours that we're billing them now instead of having a block of hours or billing them directly for all the work that we've done. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you, Julie. All right, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, seeing none, motion carries. The payables, General. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Seeing none. Motion carries. The Office of Assigned Counsel, April. Motion received. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none. Motion carries. And the next one is a May. So moved. Support. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none. Motion carries. Um, this time, is there any referrals? Is there any unfinished business? Is there any new business? Amber, is there a need for closed session? There's not, Mr. Chair. Is there any miscellaneous? Yes. I, I just want to give you a little, give you a little update of uh, what's happening with MAC. We had a meeting last Tuesday, and they had four different speakers come in. One <coughs> talked about the opioid settlement. It was Amy DeLinke, who has been working with us, mm -hmm. and it sounds like we're pretty well on track with all the other companies that are you know, not moving as you know, fast as people would like us to move to give out the money, but uh, taking our due diligence and doing the feasibility or the studies yeah, they've done so far. Uh, we had somebody talk about how to get tax money from people who have electric car cars and they're trying to figure out a system of uh, taxing them down the road and doing, doing a study on that also would be interesting. Uh, we had one about the finances, the county finance and how the other counties are doing and uh, some had a little struggle through the pandemic and then we had a little bit but, uh, but I think we're doing pretty good otherwise. 
and there's a fourth one about Medicaid inmates being uh, put back on inmates being put back on Medicaid 90 days before they get the, uh, released so they can get into uh, treatment, get their medications if they're uh, with medication assisted treatment, get back on the meds that they were on before. So unfortunately it was not in the budget this year. It didn't go through, but they're still they're still working on it. So someday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any announce yes. I would like to congratulate uh, Jim Ryum on being selected as Bay Futures uh, new president and CEO. He's doing a tremendous job already. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Thank you. Is there anyone else? How about announcements? Yes. Next week, uh, Bay County Animal Shelter, we're doing Empty the Shelter again, um, July 8th through the 31st. So that will reduce the cost of uh, animals. If anybody's looking for cats, dogs, uh, we got guinea pigs. Right. Um, Fifty dollars dogs, twenty-five cats. It's uh, wonderful that Bissell covers the cost right. from the normal expense. <laughs> so it's a great time to get an animal. So please stop by, and I wish everybody a happy Fourth of July. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? I move to adjourn. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.